They better not pull off another stupid freaking stealth segment because that was terrible. Where the hell am I going? There's nothing here. Cable. <gasps> okay. Scared the shit out of me. I need this is a cargo elevator. I need to activate it and bring some to tools. What? It just brings me back here. What? Why am I back in, in the fucking robot death zone? Do I have to bring something from here over there? Okay, it's just hovering there. That's why I got caught last time. Guess there's nothing much I can do here right now. I'll go on the other side. Wait. What? Oh. Okay. But there's nothing to put in it on it. <laughs> what? Oh no, I have to go back over there. You're joking, right? Oh no, why? Why do you have to go back to the robot death zone? This is dumb. I've already done this. Why are you making me go here again?
And there's even a dead body here. I didn't take you for someone who's into comics. They remind me of home. Of what we're doing this for. Reactor capacity at 4%. You know, my brother used to love Moon Man. He was really into these stories. He, um, he was born ill. Chronically. When I joined the WSA, he thought I was giving up on him. But without the MPT's energy, there's no way the clinic could keep his treatment going. It's the only way I could help him, even if he'd hate me for it. We try to help them. The people we love. We do what we must to keep them safe. Even if they don't understand. And sometimes we're... We're wrong. I brought my daughter, Kathy, here. She's in cryo now. Isaac? You said your daughter lives on Earth. That's Claire. Uh, my other daughter. We... we don't talk anymore. <laughs> Get some sleep. We try again tomorrow. Okay. Locked. These are white, so I'm guessing I'll be able to pass through them later. Or is it only the red ones I can pass in? Another dead AAC. Man, they really were excited for that movie night. From Mudas to NPT, Guidelines for the Tombaugh Operators, written by Dr. A. Guariguata. Tailored specifically for fresh minds joining the Lunar Colony, this comprehensive guide provides step-by-step -step insight to the answer to the Great Energy Crisis as the only official guidebook to the NPT from Mundus to MPT contains everything you need to know about the mining and production of helium-3, how reactor processes it into energy, and how MPT transmits that to Earth. There's nothing else in here. Sarah, for any day-to-day -day ye things, use 8662. Get into the storeroom. Moonman New Flame. Here to fulfill his mission, the astronaut stirs a sleeping giant. And his perilous voyage comes to a stunning climax finds that where some journeys end, others begin. Okay. That's not ominous. The hell is this place? Bathroom? I guess it's the shower room. <laughs> Why do I always have the option to flush? <laughs> This is 
Suspiciously hidden in the men's room, a whiteboard is filled with a number of disquieting calculations. Isaac Johansson's findings reveal a sobering conclusion given that the reactor's production capacity and the limited amount of helium-3 on the moon, the MPT can't keep up with humanity's current energy demands. Humanity would have to change. Well... Huh? This production capacity runs out of finite amount of helium-3. On moon too fast, can't reach coverage percentage, can't sustain minimum percentage. But isn't... doesn't Earth have like a lot lower population than it used to because the whole planet is becoming a desert? Like, wouldn't there be a lot of people dying? Here's an equi energy equation. Tombaugh reactor plus MPT. Here's an Earth. Okay. go in there quickly can I I can what I guess I can't why is it allowing me to go here? Oh! Okay. MP3 player, Sarah Baker. place you have funny things like this and then you have a deaf ro a frustrating deaf robot section but they have like rock climbing things on the pillar oh fuck what was the code eight six six two Check the entire system. If we don't find a way in soon, Earth's lost. Sarah, it's... it's a wasteland already. Look, I know. We messed up. For centuries. 
But the MPT can buy us the time we need to make it right again. I'd like to believe that. We all believe it, Isaac. That's why the WSA exists. Or whatever's left of it now. What do we tell the people back on Earth? It wasn't supposed to be like this. MacArthur ordered everybody to load the helium in monorails and evacuate. Said the reactor was dangerous. And people followed him? They followed orders. Uh, but some didn't trust him. They resisted. It... Uh, it escalated. There was fighting. He even crashed a monorail. What about the ASEs? MacArthur weaponized them. He could overload their safety limiters. But why? Why would he turn them on our own? He's a practical man. Never forget this about William MacArthur. He won't bat an eye so long as he thinks he acts for the greater good. So that's what we'll tell them back on Earth. Our colleagues gave their lives for the greater good. Whatever that is. Team, what's with the silence period afterwards? Grab this thing. I can turn it, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, good. I don't have to go through the death robot sequence again. Maybe I do have to. Oh, yes, I do have to. Yeah, I'm not even bothering with you guys anymore. Going up. Kind of convenient that there was like weak stru structural parts exactly where you need to go. The fuck? 
looks like a war zone. Oh, is this where I came from? That's the, the beginning. Wow, talk about going back where you started. <laughs> you can go up those things. Control center. Worn paper shows sketches and details, detailed information about the MPT dish, the MPT battery, and fusion reactor. Smile like this is a joke, they're monitoring, uh, monitoring us through ASCs somehow. You see the numbers? McKay said the reactor's failing, but all that looks fine. Mistake or did he lie? He lied, people need to know. Use the intercom, smile again. And McKay will kill us. You won't go that far, and we have no choice. You heard them, we can't abandon the MPT, we can't abandon Earth. We have to do something, grab that mic. I've tried everything I know! Think! It's about to overload! Wait, didn't you say MacArthur overloaded safety limiters? Why are you talking about MacArthur? Alex, isolate encryption sequence 17B on the grid. Reactor capacity and zero. <laughs> Got it! We're in! Now what? There's an emergency shutdown! Reactor deactivating. It worked! The reactor's stabilizing! We're not done yet. The reactor hasn't been able to send the energy anywhere, so... MPT overloading. Relief pressure immediately. The reserves are about to burst. We have to release the energy. How? A, a temporary transmission should send the... Ah! It's quiet. Finally. The reactor. Is it safe? It is. But the force has moved the MPT dish off its alignment. How bad is it? Can we realign it? The controls are up in the tower. But let's see if there's any helium left first. Okay. Retrieve additional helium tree from storage. So is this inside the reactor? body back here.
controller is vibrating for some reason. What the fuck? This place is flooded. Is this the movie theater? Oh crap. I saw that. this thing and there's an AC plugged in Humanity's survival at stake, MacArthur left nothing to chance. Having secured a back door in ASC units, he kept a watchful eye on WSA colonists from his observation center. When riots broke out in Tombaugh, MacArthur used the same back door to overload the safety limiters and turn ASC units under unsuspecting owners. Dude was fucking insane in the membrane. Lunar Colonist dossier Sarah Baker, professional background software engineer, function lead engineer. Station Pearson on this in 2048, psychology, strong sense of duty, intelligent, inventive, determined, altruistic disposition, backside. Insubordinate performs reverse engineering on ASCs can possibly can potentially compromise outward. Like for how long was he frickin' planning this? McCarter, I've been pondering the first phase of the plan. We must reconsider the colonists have given up everything to dedicate their lives to keeping the MPT running. We should let them decide for themselves and come of their own volition. They deserve better than to be lied to about the state of the reactor. Isaac, this is a defining moment in history. The Exodus is humanity's second chance. The only one we're going to get, but the new colony cannot survive if we become splintered. We need strong arms, bright minds, and undivided commitment. We cannot jeopardize outward by leaving it to the winds of popular opinion. People need a reason to leave the MPT behind and we're going to give it to them. It's for the greater good. Wake Katie up once we've begun phase one, then meet me in the monorail bay. When she's ready to travel, we have cryopods for her and everyone else in the arcs. I'll handle the rest of the evacuation. The end justifies the means, Isaac. We do what we must to keep them safe, even if they don't understand. You didn't keep them safe, you freaking killed them. Oh, okay. I originally thought this was fire or something. 
What a waste of water. People would kill for this on Earth. It's coolant. Water used for cooling the reactor. Some of the pipes must have burst. You think MacArthur left any helium? Uh, he wouldn't be so careless. But we should check, just to be sure. Go ahead, I'll join you in just a moment. Wait, where are you going? I'll assess the damage further on, see if the cooling is still operational. I'll be right back. Controller's still shaking. Okay, what am I supposed to do in here? Nikki, something's off with the amount of moon rock we're putting in. We should be outputting a lot more helium-3 than what's listed on our charts. It's as if some helium-3 never registered. But that's against every protocol we can think of. We, why would the Lunar Council sanction this? Well, I mean, the numbers are off, but let's not jump to conclusions. Dr. Joannes would never allow something to jeopardize the MPT's energy signal. He's too committed to Earth, still has family living down there, just like most of us. I'm sure it's some kind of mistake. Yeah, right. Holy crap, man, this is longer than I expected, so... Still not the end, I'll have to... Uh, I guess I'll have to say next time. Right then. <laughs>